you're having trouble editing your Sony a7S III footage, that 4K 120 10 bit is really hard on your computer, I don't blame you, mine struggles and lags as well, especially in Premiere Pro. So today I'm gonna show you a quick workaround that does involve proxies, but at least you don't have to make them in Premiere Pro, you can just do in-camera proxies inside of your Sony a7S III, that way you'll be recording your 4K 10-bit footage and the 720p 8-bit proxy so that you can switch between them and edit nice and smoothly. So without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so once you're inside the menu, you want to go to the shooting tab and then go to image quality. From there, you want to scroll down to the proxy settings, make sure proxy recording is set to on, and under proxy file format, you can choose between the high efficiency H.265 encoding or the normal XAVCS. I would stick to the XAVCS HD and here you can see that it says 4208 bit and you've got the 720p resolution at 24 frames per second. This is gonna be your proxy file that you will easily edit with. Okay, so once you've finished recording your clip, you wanna open up your SD card and in the M4 root tab, under clip, this is where you're going to find your original clip. As you can see, it is a 1.2 gigabyte file. And if we go back, we go into the subfolder, and this is where you're going to find your proxy, which is an 80 megabyte file. So, to import this to Premiere, you're going to go to the clip and you're just going to drag it and import it to wherever you want to import. In my case, I have a separate folder and I'm going to put it right here. So now we have our video clip right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna name it proxies and then we're gonna go back to the SD card and we're gonna go to the sub and this is the proxy which is the 80 megabyte file remember and we're just gonna drag it to the proxy folder right here. So now we have the proxy file right here and we have the original video clip right here. Now once you're in Premiere, you want to import your normal video file, not the proxy. I have it right here and we're going to find it and locate it under the project. And we're going to right click and go to the proxy, click on attach proxies. And we're just going to click attach and this is automatically going to open up the folder where the original video is located. And for the A7S III, it would show up and type SO3 after every proxy video you record. And as you can see, this is the original file, which is 169. And right here, I have the 169. So you know that this proxy is for this video. We're going to click on it and we're going to click OK. And now we have a proxy attached to our video. This is the button that you use to toggle proxies. So right now I'm using the proxy. And if you look, it just plays back smooth. And typically you would not see this button. So what you want to do is you want to click on the plus icon right here. And you want to find this button and you want to drag it. Once you've dragged this button, it is just a simple matter of clicking to toggle the proxies. So if we take a look right now, this is a little bit choppy when playing back. And if we click on the proxy, look at how fast it is. It just plays back normally and smoothly. So this is a great hack that you can use to quickly edit 4K 10-bit videos instead of having to create a proxy in Premiere or to having to deal with the lag from Premiere or your slow computer or whatever it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe for more content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.